One typical comment we keep hearing is, I've tried everything and nothing works for my acne. Sound familiar? We know how frustrating it feels, trying out different methods that work for your friends and still you get no results. The reason is very simple, each case of acne is different. Acne is a skin problem, but there are different types of acne. What causes my acne might not be what causes yours. On the surface it might look the same, which is why it is so confusing. But when treating acne correctly, it is important to focus on the internal cause of your acne not just treating the symptoms, your pimples. We have identified six different types of acne. 1. Hormonal acne. Hormonal acne is linked to an imbalance between male and female sex hormones, androgens and estrogens. Androgens stimulate the skin cells to produce more oil, leading to clogged pores, inflammation and acne. This is usually made worse by carbohydrates, dairy products and other foods that spike insulin levels. It's also the most common type of acne for adult women. 2. Inflammatory acne. Excessive inflammation empties your antioxidant stores and leaves the skin vulnerable to inflammatory damage from UV radiation and air pollution among other sources. The trick here is to find the cause of inflammation, which can be gut problems, histamine intolerance, food allergies etc. 3. Stress, Emotional Acne. People with emotional type of acne feel like acne has taken over their lives. They are anxious and stressed because of it and spend a lot of time, energy and money on researching and trying different cures. Stress and anxiety often aggravates acne, which causes even more stress and anxiety. The important thing here would be to break the vicious stress acne stress cycle. 4. Irritant acne. Sometimes acne is just a skin problem, like irritant type acne. Physical rubbing and harsh or comedogenic chemicals can irritate the skin and cause acne. 5. Infectious acne. Not technically acne but often mistaken for it. Certain pathogens can cause skin infections that look like acne. One example of this is a yeast called malassezia, which causes malassezia folliculitis that looks very similar to acne. One characteristic of this type of acne is that usually doesn't respond to or even gets worse when you try treating your acne with antibiotics. The antibiotics kill off the skin bacteria that hold off the yeast, making it easier for the yeast to expand. 6. Acneiform. An acne-like drug reaction. Potential causes include halogens, chlorine, iodine, fluoride, immune system suppressors, some chemotherapy drugs and corticosteroids. Vitamin B12 can also trigger acneiform. Remember that this list is still a work in progress. As scientists keep studying acne, we are likely to identify more causes behind it. Another thing to keep in mind, is that like life, acne can also be a bit messy and confusing. Your acne can be 100% of one type, but it can also be a mixture of two or more types. Many women have told that their acne is a combination of hormonal and inflammatory acne, usually linked to gut problems. The main benefit of knowing your acne type, is that it helps you to focus on treatments that are most likely to work for you. If you know that your acne is at least partly hormonal, you can focus on reducing your insulin levels. Check diabetic forums for diet information. If you have inflammatory type acne that is linked to gut problems, you can ask people with irritable bowel syndrome for diet tips. But whatever you do, do not try out all the acne tips you see online. First of all, there are so many that you will feel overwhelmed. Second, many of them are not actually helpful for acne, some natural ingredients might even irritate your skin. So don't trust everything you read. Instead you should focus on relevant treatments for your acne type, preferably from trusted sources. If you try out some treatment that clearly does not help your acne, for instance diet changes for stress, emotional type of acne, you don't have to keep on doing them. You can't fix emotional problems with a knife and a fork. But remember that there are treatments that need some time before they start showing results. So our advice is to try to understand the problems that cause your acne. Then look for solutions for those problems instead of just general acne treatments. To make it easier for you, we've developed a quick quiz that will help you determine what type of acne you have, the link can be found below.